It's been raining off and on all day today. The remnants of uh, Hurricane Burl. Barrel? Burl? I'm not sure. Very muggy. It's about 12.30 at night in the morning. Um, it's actually kind of starting to sprinkle a little bit. There's uh, pretty good storms out to our south down in Arkansas. It's still a couple hours away. A little bit of thunder rumbling way, way back in the distance. And now I will update this video in the morning when it's raining. So this is what it looks like tonight. No stars, it's all overcast. Very muggy. Not muggy, but like humid. Difference between muggy, it's not sticky, it's heavy, oppressive. Well, here are the remnants of Hurricane Barrel here in southeast Missouri. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's like really, really windy. It's rained a whole lot. Luckily, this house has built up quite a bit. Uh, some tornado threat to the south, but nothing major. Let's see how hard it's raining over there. I mean, it's a lot of rain. Birds, go birds! My chair got dirty. And the wind's really picking up. Wow, boy. A whole, whole lot. Wow, I might need to go back inside. Holy crap. Okay, let's go back inside. Like, is this a tornado? <laughs> Tell or not, man. Oh my god, it blew the door open. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm taking a video. I had to run back inside. It just got I got too windy. The kids are <laughs> the kids are watching it out that door. I didn't really see anything on the radar. I've been watching the radar all day. Let's go back out that door. I'll go out this one. Here, let me wipe off the camera. Yeah, I know. I watched a bird that was like struggling too. I'm gonna pause and look at the radar and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I did look at the radar. Nothing really major. Just a lot of uh, rain, I guess. Water keeps getting on it. It's weird because it's not cold rain. It's kind of warm. That's a lot of rain. In this area, floods real bad too. Uh, we're not very far from the Mississippi River. So anytime we get rain, it pretty much floods. See along the house here, it's starting to cool up. Yeah, for a second, man, that was gusty. That was that was pretty crazy. This is the remnants of Hurricane Barrel. I think now it's just a tropical depression. That bird's trying to fly. Still bird. They like to go over in a cornfield. 
we have a bunch of these uh, Japanese shrubs. There's a larger one there. A lot of the birds like to go into those. We got a couple around on the other side of the house too. And uh, the birds definitely love making nests up in there, especially when it rains. A lot of rain. We're supposed to, I think they forecasted something like four to six inches of rain for our area from the last uh, yesterday and today. Doesn't look like much right here on camera, but I, I swear it's a, it's a really heavy rain. Like it's not coming down. I don't know how to explain it. Like hard, but it's just a lot of rain. I mean, that's how hard it's coming down. Like. I mean, you can look over here at the ditches, they're starting to fill up. See there? Those ditches will overflow. This whole area will be hard. Sometimes this whole entire area, you can't even get over here with a car because it's so high up. Um, there's a highway that runs this way there, about, I don't know, about a mile and a half that way. And uh, you, sometimes you can't even get off of the exit because the water's backed up so bad. And it's crazy because there's an industrial park that's right over there too, where a lot of factories are at. And so uh, a lot of people can't get to their jobs, so they'll have to go the back way. If they can get that way. The rain is slowing down for a second, I mean, but it's gonna rain all day. There's a lot of water. Well, my ditch is starting to sort of fill up. I don't know if you see it or not. There you go. You see those along the roads and lots of ditches. Just because this area floods so bad. But we get a lot of nice green grass. Starting to slow down. I right, I hear the kids. I better go back inside. Uh, if it gets any crazier, I will make another video. Or add to this one. How about that? We have a uh, storm threat all day today, so I'll probably make another video. I'm gonna get to five minutes on this one and cut it. The oh, wind's cold now. It was warm just a little bit ago, just a couple minutes ago. That was a cold wind there. Well, all the rain's kind of, it's kind of pretty much stopped. Um, it is now around uh, 5, 5.30 or so. <laughs> I say it's stopped, but it actually looks like it's raining just right there. Um, this is the very last of Hurricane Barrel, Burl, however you say it. All the rain's pretty much dried up. I showed earlier that it was all flooded out here. This is all farmland, and so it soaks up the water like really fast. But you can see over there in that ditch, it's flooded. If we got any more rain, it would probably be on the road. Yeah, oh, it's starting to sprinkle. <laughs> as soon as I come out here, it's been dry for at least a little bit. It's sprinkling now, as you can see. There you go, a little bit. But I was just doing an update because uh, we were supposed to get a little bit more rain, but it seems like the majority of the storms actually went to our east over in Kentucky. So you see all the birds. They do this every evening. It's kind of neat. I don't know what kind of birds they are. But they, they kind of look like bats almost. They go real low to the ground. Can you see that? They go real low to the ground, and I'm guessing they're eating bugs. But they do this every evening, and they'll actually, there's several of them that will go, they'll go around the house. Like, there's three of them, they'll go around the house, and they'll do it several times. Like, it's the same ones, almost like they're racing. So strange. I don't know what kind of birds those are. If anybody in the comments knows what type of birds these are, let me know. 
because I do uh, like watching you know birds and stuff. And I kind of know most of them in the area. I just don't know what those are because I can't get a picture of them. They're too fast. Are they swallows? Is that what they are? They're brown with a little uh, an underbelly. I didn't know they were going to be doing this when I came out here. I mean, there's at least a at least a dozen of them out here right now. I assume they're um, getting bugs. I'm glad I stepped out here because it kind of looks a little, a little nasty over there. No lightning with this storm. I know I, the past couple videos I've done have had lots of lightning. Whoa, what is that right there? There's nothing on radar, like nothing. Just rain. I'm gonna guess that's rain. I'm talking I'm not talking about I'm sorry I'm eating a mint. I'm not talking about where's my hand at? Not this one, but that one over here. But uh that one kinda looks a little scuddy too. I'm guessing that's scud. But I sure it does look like a little funnel. It's gone though. I don't like how that was dipping down like that. Well, we're here looking at birds, and there's scud everywhere. The bird's still going crazy. The rain's coming in. It was just a little bitty line of nothing really. Nothing of significance or even really heavy. But that looked nasty just for a second. See that right there? Maybe it's just because of the trees, but very good. You know what? The clouds are actually going a different direction. There's a big cloud right here. It's moving real fast actually. See. That's not my truck by the way. It's just it's always there, it's a farm vehicle. Birds are still going crazy. They do that every evening. Yo, what is that? Is that trying to do a land spot right there? Because this sure looks like one. Oh, I'm sorry. I zoomed in so close then. side of Crowley's roots are. That's super scuddy. I don't like how that looked. It's almost gone now, but scud is the, if you don't know, it's the lower level stuff. So like this stuff here where it looks kind of broken up, that's scud. It's the dangly bits of a storm that eventually do turn into, uh, if you have enough convection and stuff, you, it turns into a tornado. Something along those lines. I'm not a weatherman, I just like weather. Yeah, that's guts pretty pretty nasty looking. I'm gonna cut it, take a picture, and then turn the video back on. Okay, I'm I'm back. Uh, I took a picture of it. The video on this phone is actually better than the camera the camera itself. It's kinda weird, but yeah. The one I went to take a picture was really dark. Those birds are still going at it. But I haven't done a weather video in a couple of days, so I wanted to do a longer one for Hurricane Burl. I was hoping to get some action yesterday, but I just didn't have time to go outside. And uh, most of the rain actually happened today, well, over overnight into this morning. So it kind of wrapped up about 2 or 3 o'clock. Yeah, you can see now that that rain moved in, the scud's pretty much all gone. Mm 
Yeah, this is the remnants of Hurricane Barrel here in southern Missouri. Look at our corn. It's already got heads on it and it's about ready to be picked. I'm thinking that's feed corn. I don't believe it's, I don't believe that they grow uh, eating corn. That would be for the cows. That stuff there has already been done. It was uh, grass or uh, wheat. Grain for the uh, cows also. Well, yeah, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and cut it and uh, I'll, I'll put the videos together. I use CapCut. Uh, there's a link in the description for a, uh, uh, you can use CapCut for free and uh, then they have a paid subscription and I get a small kickback for that. Um, it's something like 15% or something like that. They sent me an affiliate link the other day actually. So uh, if you join, uh, I will get some type of uh, kickback for that and I do appreciate it if you do. CapCut's amazing, really. It reminds me of uh, Canva, but for video editing, uh, which you can video edit with Canva, but uh, and Canva has a free option, but the Pro is what it kind of reminds me of. I use pretty much CapCut for everything that I do. It's picking up a little bit. This tree here had a dead limb and they had to remove it uh, this past week. It was hanging down. Alrighty, I guess we will end the video. Thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate all the support. This was the radar during the strong gust when I said, hey, I'm going to go check the radar. Uh, just heavy rain, really. Most of the bad storms uh, went to our east over in Kentucky and Illinois and Indiana. So I always watch Max Velocity on YouTube, uh, live streams. Great guy to go watch. That's always up to date with the weather. So thanks for watching, guys. And for those wondering, I do use Radar Omega. It seems to be the absolute best accurate radar uh, in our area, at least. So go check them out as well.